Welcome to another Revel University video tutorial. This video will highlight the point of sales end of day process. This includes how to customize the process on the management console, as well as how to complete the end of day process on the point of sale. As with all of our tutorials, you can jump ahead to any topic that is most important to you. All of our videos have a table of contents listed below along with other videos and support articles. So let's get started with setting up the end of day process. As a business owner or manager, you've got plenty to take care of after a long day's work. With Revel's end of day process, you can automate your end of shift or closing procedures to quickly close open orders, process offline payments, confirm time cards, and more. The end of day wizard requires a bit of configuration on the management console first. To access the settings, log into your management console and navigate to the settings tab. Click on clear selections and in the search box type end of day. Check the box for end of day from the left sidebar for the settings to appear on the right. If you would like to trigger a reminder on the point of sale for employees to run the end of day process, you can use the reminder time field to set one up. You can also use the settings in this section to customize your end of day process to fit your business needs. There are some additional settings available with the end of day process. For more details, please check out that article below. To activate the end of day process, be sure to check the very first box to activate. Go through whatever settings and activate as needed and be sure to save. To run your end of day process, let's look at the point of sale. First, since we've recently made changes to the management console, we'll want to be sure to refresh the point of sale for those changes to take effect. Once that is complete, we can log in. On the dashboard screen, you can click on the end of day process. Note, as I perform my end of day process, keep in mind that your procedures may differ so you may see other options. Once the end of day process is selected, the system will automatically guide you through each step. If any actions need to be performed, the system will halt until that action has been completed. The first step is to close any orders with a zero balance. This is a step the POS can complete on its own. It simply closes any orders that are still open but have been paid in full. The next step here is to reconcile open orders. This will require action from you. If any orders remain with a positive balance, then they will need to be processed and closed. Tap the far right of the open order to see a list of configured reconciliation presets, such as void, refund, close to cash, carry to next day, and go to order. Next, we have offline payments. If your system went offline at any point during the day, orders may have been delayed from sending to the server and the payment processor. If this is the case, you will see the orders listed on the screen. Tap the force option to process the offline payments. If any payments are declined, they will be moved to the declined payment screen. Should the point of sale still be in offline mode, the end of day process cannot be completed. Next up are declined payments. For any payments taken in offline mode and declined once the system was back online, those orders will be displayed here. You can protect yourself from offline decline payments by enabling buffers, such as not accepting any offline credit card payments that are above a certain dollar amount. This can be done on the management console under the payment settings. The next section, process all credit cards, is a way to ensure that all credit card payments have been successfully sent to the processor. If any payments were not sent, they will appear here. You can then tap the capture button and manually send them. Close all tills will walk you through the till checkout process to input your end of day cash amounts. Once completed, the point of sale will take you back to the end of day process screen. 
In the Confirm Employee Time Card section, you can verify that all of your employees who worked that day have successfully clocked in and out. If any of your employees forgot to clock out, you can manually clock them out at that time. Once the report is printed, the POS will automatically log out and refresh. If you are not using Revel's end of day process, you will need to decide how to handle your credit card batch process. You can choose to perform this manually or schedule the system to do it for you automatically at a set time of day. The batch process allows you to capture all credit card payments and is necessary if you accept tips for your business. Please note that if you do not batch process, you will not collect the payments for credit card transactions. Batch processing needs to be completed once every 24 hours. So let's first see how to perform this manually. To begin the batch process, navigate to the dashboard on your point of sale. Under Operations, tap Payments Waiting to Batch. Capture each payment individually by selecting the Capture next to each transaction or select the Capture All button at the top of the page. It's important to note that once you capture a transaction, the value cannot be edited, so be sure to verify the tip amounts before tapping Capture. You can also use the search bar to find a transaction by the transaction ID, order ID, last four digits of the credit card, or by the cardholder name. If your point of sale stations are in a syncing environment, only one batch process is necessary from the main station. Otherwise, batch processing will need to be completed on each POS station. Once again, you'll need to complete the batch process once every 24 hours. If you forget to batch the previous night, the point of sale will give you a warning the following morning, reminding you to do so. Unbatched transactions will only stay on your batch screen for three days. After you've input tip adjustments and captured the payments, your batch processing is complete. Additionally, you can opt to have Revel automatically capture your payments at a certain time of day. Let's see how to configure auto capturing payments. From the management console, navigate to the settings tab and click clear selections. In the search box, type auto capture and then check the option from the search panel on the left. On the right, enable this feature by checking the box for auto capture. Next, enter the desired time for the auto capture to take place. It's important to note all employee tips must be entered before the auto capture time. Save when finished. When using auto capture, you must make sure that your iPad has the following configurations. Auto lock is set to never. Both the iPad and the management console must be set to the same time zone. And push notifications must be enabled for the Revel point of sale app. Lastly, a few key things to remember. You must ensure that your point of sale is powered on and that the Revel app is open. The iPad cannot be in sleep mode, powered off, or disconnected from the Revel network. Putting the iPad into sleep mode will cause the iPad to temporarily disconnect from Wi-Fi. And finally, if tips are not entered before the time of auto capture, you will have to work with your credit card processor in order to make any adjustments. And that's it for auto capture. Once it's set, it will automatically perform at the scheduled time. So that wraps up the end of day procedures. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and were able to follow along to complete the necessary steps. If you have any additional questions, please visit the related knowledge base articles or video tutorials linked below. Thank you for watching another Revel University video tutorial.